Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for September. So we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Libra? Tower just came flying out. This card says solid foundation, success with effort. When I see the tower, I don't think of success. I think a dismantling of a false sense of security. So I do believe that there is going to be a dismantling of a false sense of security, or there has been already. I do feel like you will be successful in building a new foundation, okay? But I feel like there's going to be a dismantling before that happens. This is my fourth Libra reading. I finally, I, I turned the light off to see if this one will work. I do believe that uh, there's, you're definitely dealing with some challenges. I had the Seven of Wands twice, twice, and the first card out in one of them, that's, that's haters, okay, or opposition. You have, uh, you're, in a, you're in a tough position. You may have earned some sort of recognition, you know, um, and there's somebody around you that wants to take you down, okay? They're jealous of you or, you know, they're jealous of your success. You're, they're jealous of your recognition or they don't like your standpoint, okay? They don't like where you're at. They don't like the position that you're in, okay? So you're going to be dealing with some opposition, okay? You are going to be dealing with some opposition. Um, yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. That just fell out as well. So you may be feeling frustrated. Um, I feel like you are up against some stiff competition. There's somebody here that is going to be uh, opposing you. I don't, this could be somebody that's born in December. I saw Sagittarius a couple different times. So you could definitely be dealing with a Sagittarius or somebody that is born in December. December is also a prominent month. We have rooster on the bottom, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. You are going to be dealing with an arrogant uh, person. You definitely are. Now we have wreath, sorrow over a loss. I saw that as well. So you are going to be dealing with a loss. I know that you are. This is my fourth reading, and I, you know, I don't like to give those kinds of messages, but you're dealing with a loss. Okay. Um, there's a foundation that is crumbling. You're going to be building a new foundation, maybe someplace else. I don't know. Um, I feel like the month of December is very prominent. I don't know if you were dealing with a Sagittarius, but I really kind of feel like you are for some of you. Um, there's going to be a loss here. You do have an arrogant person that is going to really be doing whatever they can to take you down. If it's not a Sagittarius, it's just somebody that you know, is angry, and I saw anger in every single one, so, mm, caution, caution tape, so we do have some caution tape, in my last reading, we had the sirens, you know, so there could be some sirens, there could be, there, there could be an emergency here, uh, something is going on, something is going on, and, and this is a warning, okay, beware, beware, okay, um, Let's get one more card. This is only lust. So somebody is doing something passionately. It's out of passion. Lust is instant gratification. So somebody is doing something to get instant gratification. Um, I feel like for some of you, you're dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I already said Sagittarius, didn't I? Could also be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, could also be dealing with a Pisces. I saw Pisces as well. Um, what else do we have? What do we have for Libra? Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. I don't know how that plays out in this reading, but... Perhaps you need to be playful. Maybe you've been feeling tied down and frustrated and you've been having sorrow over a loss and you need to get out there and have some fun. Maybe you need to go have some fun. Maybe you need to build a new foundation someplace else. Don't let somebody try to take you down, okay? Don't try to let somebody tell you that you can't do it. There could be an accident or something could happen, you know, when you see that caution tape. I mean, you just got to throw that out there, okay? Empress Reverse. We had this in the last one as well. 
So some of you are dealing with uh, loss. This, I don't know if this is a loss of a child or a loss of a pregnancy. This is a termination. It could be in pain. We could have a mother here that's in pain. We could also have a, a wife or you know a feminine here that is in some sort of pain. Okay, she's suffering over a loss. Could be a loss of a husband or a partner or whatever it is. But this is feeling in pain. Um, the Empress in Reversed is um, Let me get another card to see exactly what this means for your whole situation. Temperance, a death, a death, because dem temperance comes after death, after an ending. Needing to accept, needing to accept that something is over um, in some sort of pain, suffering, you know, in your feelings. A mess, a mess. You may be feeling like you're a mess. Some of you could be dealing with a feminine that is very, very forceful, that is trying to force something it could also be you the empress could be your energy trying to force something um, temperance is a card of evolution it's a card of, of release um, acceptance going with the flow a need to manage your feelings healing profound self-healing is needed everything happens for a reason so there is I feel like there's a loss we have sorrow over a loss and I feel like it's happened for a reason you need to accept and and accept it Okay, Temperance is a card of acceptance. There's something better here for you. Queen of Swords, Reverse. Now this is uh, bitterness. It is resent. It is, uh, I don't know if there's a woman that has wrecked some sort of havoc in your life. Um, this person has come in to, uh, has probably brought in a tower moment. Okay, this is, uh, we definitely have a very forceful energy here. We also have bitterness and revenge. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with somebody that is revengeful, that is bitter. Again, we have Sagittarius. Okay, so we have Sagittarius, we have Taurus, we have Libra, and we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, there's harsh words. There's... Uh, trying to control a situation, trying to force something. Somebody is trying to force something. They're willing to do whatever it takes to get what they want. I feel like there's some bad news that is coming. Strength reverse. Now we could be dealing with a Leo as well. We could also be dealing with a third party situation. You could be attending a get together in the near future. If it is, it's, it has to do with a loss. And I saw that in every single reading we have a loss here. And a need to accept. There's also a need to have fun and socialize and get together. Maybe you need to lean on your friends or lean on your family members. There's probably going to be a get together. You may be meeting somebody or getting together with somebody that you met on social media. This is dating, putting yourself out there. For some of you, it won't be for everybody. There's some sort of um, fear here. Fear, fear with the strength card reverse. A lack of healing. Um... A need for change, a need to accept that something is over, that something has ended. And I feel like that, that's really hard to do. It's really hard to do. I feel like you are dealing with an ending or a loss and it's hard to accept it. I feel like there's, there's a woman here that has wrecked some sort of havoc on your life and it's hard to accept. It is really, 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 really hard to accept. Um... There's poor health here. We have somebody here that is not healthy. And it doesn't have to be a woman. It could be a man. It could be a man. It could be a masculine. This is somebody that isn't healthy. They're not healthy. They are cannot control their emotions. They're extremely forceful and extremely competitive. There is somebody here that does not respect others, that does not listen to any advice. This is a know-it-all. So we do have a know-it-all that is... Um, experiencing a loss this person is not healthy at all we definitely have some poor health here um, there's gonna be a change there's gonna be an exchange now the three of cups is reversed that's emotional uh, there is a termination here there is definitely a termination the three of cups reversed it's like Parting ways, parting ways from friends or family members. 
There is somebody here that is very, very uh, disrespectful, that is trying to force something. They're trying to force something. Depressed. There's depressed. We have somebody here that is very, very depressed. And they're going overboard. They're going overboard. They're angry. They're not thinking clearly. This person is not taking care of something. The Empress Reverse, it could be a mother that's not taking care of herself. She's not taking care of her child. She's not taking care of her family. This is somebody that's not taking care of something. She may be going overboard. She may be going to extremes. We do have somebody here that is going to extremes. There could be some extreme addictions here. Codependency. Trying to force somebody to do something. There's definitely force with Empress Reverse and Strength Card Reverse. Overly protective. We have somebody here that is overly protective. I feel like there's there's somebody here that is is coming in and they're they're coming in uh, to bring change. There is definitely some change here with the Temperance card reversed. Somebody may have missed an opportunity. They have may have missed something. They didn't see something clearly. There's going to be a change. Moon. This is unclear. Something was hidden. I feel like there is something that is going to be revealed that was hidden. Okay. I feel like I feel like we also have an enemy here with the Queen of Swords reversed. There's an enemy and the Empress reversed and the Strength card reversed. We have an enemy. We have somebody here that has also not learned their lessons. They haven't learned their lesson lesson and they're repeating their same mistakes. Could also be dealing with the Pisces. They're hiding something. Somebody is hiding something. They're not telling the truth. There's some sort of, this is proceed with caution. And then we have the caution tape. Caution, beware. All is not as it seems. Something is about to happen that you don't see coming. You don't, you know, you're unaware. Queen of Swords, reverse. You are unaware. You're unaware. I don't know if we have a third party situation here. Maybe somebody is unaware of a third party situation. I feel like there is going to be a separation. There's parting ways. There's gossip. There's enemies disguised as friends. You could, there, there is with the, there's an enemy here. You definitely have an enemy that is disguised as friends. There's some, it feels like you're going to be put on the spot. You're going to be put on the spot. Somebody, there could be talking. There could be people that are talking behind somebody's back and it's getting somebody in trouble. Giving deep thought to a relationship. This is extreme regrets. You know, there is somebody here that is definitely suffering. They're in a state of d despair. This is a state of, you know, this is anguish. It is despair. It is extreme regrets. Um, you're dealing with somebody that doesn't have good intentions. And this is another caution. This You need to be very, very, very careful because all is not as it seems. You may be dealing with somebody that has some mental health issues. That is doing something without thinking. And I saw that in all the other readings as well. Going overboard. Going to extremes. There's gossip, you know, this is, I, I, some of you are dealing with a bitch, you know, you're dealing with a real bitch that is trying to take you down, they're trying to take you down, they're coming, they're, they're going to do whatever it takes to take you down, and I saw that with the seven of wands, it's like, you're in a position that, you know, you're in a good position, and this person is so jealous, they want to take you down, they want to take you down, somebody wants to take you down, they want to take you out of this position. You're going to, if some of you are going in another direction, you're going to be going in another direction because we had the six of swords. That's like moving on, going someplace, going someplace better. So maybe, you know, I don't know if you're in a position, you're going to be taken out of the position. I don't know. That could certainly be the case. I feel like, um, 
all is not as it seems with that moon card. There's some hidden forces here. There's some sort of disguise. You definitely have a hater here or haters. There's haters here. There is haters here. Could be three people. Three people that are ganging up to take somebody down. It's like they're lurking. They're hiding. Could be a Libra, a Sagittarius, and a Leo. Could also have a Pisces here. So we could have Pisces, Leo, um, Sagittarius. It's like three against one. Somebody may be trying to scare you. They may be trying to instill fear in you. Definitely, definitely, definitely beware. Beware, 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 beware. Justice. Justice. Justice is a card of everything turning out as it should. A fair and just decision being made. There could be news of legalities. The law could be stepping in. The law could be stepping in. There's some sort of karma here. We have somebody here that there, it's like something is coming back around. And I saw that in the other one as well. Something, Somebody that may have deceived you or lied to you or betrayed you. They're about to receive some sort of karma. They may be experiencing a big loss in their life. I don't know if this is a stepmother, a wicked stepmother, or a mother-in-law, or something like that. Something about a karmic contract. There's lies, there's deception, this is force, this is a mean-spirited individual, very mean-spirited, overprotective, selfish, greedy. This person is about to get served some karma. Somehow it is affecting you. There's illness here. Could even be mental illness. High Priestess. High Priestess is observing, reflecting, going within. Some sort of truth is about to be revealed right next to the moon card. May have something to do with a Pisces or Cancer. There's, there's gossip, there's bitching, there's ganging up. Something is about to be revealed that, that has been hidden. I don't know if there's been some cheating, there's been some sort of deception, there's been some sort of lies, there has. There is definitely a liar here. There is somebody that has been lying. Maybe they've been lying about their health or they've been lying about, you know, a third party situation or about some sort of addiction that they had. There is something that is coming to the surface here that has been below the surface. Maybe you sense that it was going to be come up. It is definitely going to come up. Termination. There could be a termination of rights. You know, a termination of rights. Somebody may be losing their rights or something like that. Somebody could end up in court. You know, they could definitely end up in court. There's going to be a change. I feel like we have somebody here that has been lying. They have not been telling the truth. You know, karma or the justice system has no toleration for lies. It doesn't. So this is like, it doesn't. You know, justice is just, the justice system has no toleration for lies. So I do believe there's some lies that are going to be exposed. Um, somebody has definitely been lying. It feels like they've been lying about their health or they've been lying about a third party, you know, something like that. And it's about to be revealed and it changes everything. That, that, that temperance card is a change. 
It's a change for the better. It is a change for the better. It really is. This is parting ways. Going in a new direction. There's an unclear and difficult path ahead. We have somebody here that is very, very weak. I feel like they're sick. A fair and just decision is going to be made. Two of Cups reverse, that's a separation. There is a separation here. There's disharmony, there's a detachment. Somebody's going to be detaching from a partnership that is no longer compatible. There's no growth. There's uh, no unity. There's, there's unfair treatment here as well. I think we ha and we may even have a counselor here that is getting involved. We may have a counselor here that is getting involved that has been observing and taking notes and this person is about to reveal some information that changes everything. Somebody's going to be going in a new direction. They may not know it, but they are. Separating is separating from a partner. So there is a separation here, there is a separation, and there is an unclear and difficult path ahead. There's, there's, this is a time of evolution, it is a time of change. I feel like this is a painful loss, unfortunately. I do feel like it's a painful loss, okay? I think that we have a feminine here that is going to be feeling, you know, at a loss. But everything is turning out as it should, okay? I feel like there's karma here. And I feel like I feel like there's uh, something that has been hidden that has been that is going to be revealed that changes everything. And in one of the readings we had was phone call that changes everything. So I do believe that you're going to receive a phone call that changes everything. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is choices. It's confusion, though. It's it's making a choice. There's consequences here. Choose wisely. It's like you're put in a position to make a choice. Choose wisely. So I feel like there's options. Somebody may be exploring their options. I feel like you need to choose another option. You may be considered an option. Somebody. I feel like you're going to be receiving a phone call. And I saw that in the other one. That changes everything. It comes after a separation. There could even be a reunion here. There could be a reunion. Could be between family members. Eight of Swords reversed. An obstacle is being removed. There's been some lies. The lies are going to be revealed, which causes a change. This change goes in your favor, whatever it is. It feels like you have been betrayed by some bitch. I don't know who this bitch is, but you probably do. Something is going to go in your favor. There's going to be a change and it's going to go in your favor. An obstacle is being removed. It's like you're, this is freedom. It is. It's freedom. It feels like you're being chosen. You're being chosen. Somebody has abused their power. It's being revealed and there's, and there could be even a change in a contract. And I do believe that it goes in your favor. There's a separation that goes in your favor. I know that it does, but it comes after a loss. But I feel like you've been, you've been dealing with this loss already. Some of you are gonna be getting into a new contract. You are. An obstacle is being removed. Freedom, freedom, 
freedom from a partner that isn't compatible could have something to do with Pisces or Cancer or Sagittarius or Leo choosing another option there's been confusion somebody has been confused they were lied to and now the lies are exposed and it causes this change I do believe that there is going to be a spur of the moment decision that is made and it's going to go in your favor so I'm not sure how this resonates with you but good luck